Welcome back everybody or welcome if you are new today we're in the world of outlaws super late models here at Cedar Lake and this track is like completely slicked off so this is going to be a very interesting race to say the least like the, all there is is the very tiny bit of bottom and the top that is the only non-slick part so I don't know what the percentage is of this slicked off track but it's absolutely crazy I've never had like a pre-generated track this slick and our first lap already doesn't count so that's good I was just gonna run top one and two, bottom three and four. Okay, I'm resetting the car because I've already dis destroyed the right uh, rear of it. At least uh, I hope I can get one clean lap in. That's it. Because what are they running? 13, 7, 13, 9. I know I can get into the eights from practice. I ran an eight just running top as well. Such a thin line. Try to get down here. Don't hit the tires because that can give you a contact 0x. Got a 13893. I'll take that. That puts us third right now. Okay. Not too bad for a super slicked off track. This is going to be a real interesting race because I think everybody's just going to be riding the top, basically. Some people might be down like the middle or bottom trying to find some grip, but the, the only grip really is right along the top. And we're car number four. I'm not super good at like really slicked off track. So this is going to be a great test for me. Hopefully uh, I can uh, learn it a little bit running right the top because the running the top of this track is really hard for me too. Like you saw in the first lap of qualifying, but luckily we didn't hit the wall in the second lap. Got a decent starting spot so far and I will bring you guys back and get ready to take the green in the race. All right, we stayed in third for qualifying. Hopefully we get to stick up here for the race too. Starting on the bottom is going to be rough, I feel like. So this is going to be interesting. Hoping that we could get to the top pretty quick. I think I'll just run top top for the most part. Unless I can get down. Hopefully. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens here in the race. Where everybody's running at and stuff. And how many cautions there are going to be. Because the cautions could uh, slow this race down a ton. With it being this slicked off, and Cedar's just a tough track in general. <laughs> to me, at least. So I'm happy we qualified well. I kind of wish it would have been in an even position, but that's alright. Those two guys up front are really, really fast. I'm happy to be in the 13 seconds with how the way how the track is, and only four of us qualified in the 13s, but some of the faster guys will probably be down like the 6.5s, 4s potentially, I'm not sure. <laughs> If they run the top well enough. I'm honestly not sure if three and four of the top or bottom is faster. Right, guys, we got a lot of people I like the bottom box. better. Double like I feel equipment. more comfortable down there. But I don't know if it's necessarily quicker or not. I'm shocked nobody's been like, what is this track state? Because that's that was my mind when I came out for practice. I'm like, what is this? Really shocked by it. Don't hit the gas too hard. Because really don't want to spin your tires in the slick that's everywhere. Try and just run the bottom while we're down here and somebody's on our outside. Clear outside. Outside. Still there. Door outside. Clear high. Because I don't think the bottom's that bad if you run it right. Those guys are running like a slider line three and four. Interesting. Should have probably got up at some point, but it is what it is at this point. Get up behind this red car. And try to run down the wall. Well, not run down the wall. Run on the wall without knocking it over. I know it's concrete in there, but I feel like I could do it. So the line they run is interesting in three and four. It's like a slider up to off of four. I'll have to try that. Oh, what a slider by the five car. He got in the wall, though. Definitely never going to get full throttle here. Just with the track state of this. I think with this small of a track anyways, you're not going to get full throttle really here. Oh, the five car went up on the wall. That was sketchy. I knew he was going to cut down there. I didn't want to slide up into him. Oh, his sliders are dangerous. Got to watch out for that. 
Yeah, I don't think I'm running that quite right. I think that was my best corner of three and four so far. I'm just not super fast on the wall and one and two either is the thing. Oh, they're going to hit. Oh, are they going to wreck? Nope. He came back up and us. We got a two X from that. That's fine. Nope, I'm in the wall. Yeah, I knew the 14 wasn't going to know the five was there. I had a feeling they were going to hit like they did. He's going to throw a slider on us. And we're going to get hit from behind. Five cars up on the wall. Five going to block him. This super slicked off track is crazy. Absolutely nuts. I had a good run there. I just had to check up. I had nowhere to go with it. Should have just stuck straight Outside. bottom on that, but it's fine. Because I want to use that slider line in three and four, but I don't want to run into the five car. Because I know where my slider is going to go would be straight into his door, so I don't want to run into him. And I'm bad at entering three high. We're still sitting fifth somehow after all this nonsense. First place is absolutely gone. I don't even see him. Oh, he's in three and four. That's where he's at. This is just crazy on this track state. Oh, I'm in the wall. At least we only have a 2X so far from the five car, which really I, I wish we didn't have that, but it is what it is. Didn't get rotated, get off the wall. I'm gonna try to run that slider line three and four again now. Come far enough away from the five, I shouldn't run into him at all. And I'm just not that quick in the top. Takes so much concentration for me to try to do this stuff though, because I'm not good at this track in general. I knew starting on the bottom was going to be rough and then just the track state in general was going to be, but I feel like I'm doing better than normal for this kind of track state. So I am happy about it. Pulling away from the guys behind us. That five car is up on that wall, like literally. Pretty sure his wheels have been up on it a couple times. I think I need to take a different angle for that slider because I'm getting that slick on the top too much. Oh, that's going to be bad. Kind of had a weird angle because I hit the wall on the back stretch. Guy behind me has now caught me. Like, this is the worst track state I have ran on since, like, the Sprint Car Tour. And the Sprint Car Tour at least did it naturally. Like, that would start from a non-slick state and get there with the cars running. This one was just pre-generated from the start, which is nuts. Okay, I'm running the top a little better now. Oh, I thought I was going to nail the wall there. My front end was going to come around. But we're holding on the fifth for now. I'm shocked there's been no cautions. That's been kind of nice because we're already in the last like five laps just about. I had to get on the brakes there because I was going to nail the wall. Definitely tough to make passes. You can definitely throw sliders, but I think everybody's just being kind of careful with it. Like, I would love to know what the percentage of this track was to start with. It just said high usage, so I think it's like in the 70s, 80s-ish. By the time we're done with it, I feel like it's going to be at like 95. Because even this top lane is slicked off, but it's definitely the fastest lane. Two laps to go. We got a little bit of a gap behind us, but I could ruin that in a second, so I don't want to 
rest on anything. Oh, I got the wall in the back. Still only got a 2x, which is nice. And it wasn't even like my fault. It was the 5 sliding into us and stuff. And it looks like we're going to come home 5th. I will take that. That was a freaking tough race, man. Good race, 7 and 5. No cautions out of all that, which is crazy. I'm shocked Shit, there was zero back caution. Back off the gas at the white flag, man. <laughs> really good they must have gotten a 2x from that. That was Thank nuts, you. though. 12 car got the win. The, um, you you back in a couple last ago. 12 car got the win by four and a half seconds. He was absolutely flying. That was a just crazy ass race, though. Like, just absolutely from the green flag, it was like it was nuts. So, let's see the incidents that happened. They were already passing the, the pace truck before the line. Yeah, he started in second and just ran away with it. Great win by him. He was super fast up there the entire time. These guys are three wide off of four. He's going to nail the wall right there. Nope, nope. Just barely scrape it. He's fine. But he got such a big lead so early. It's crazy. He was just right on that edge. I was just trying to keep that bottom so I didn't run into anybody. There were three wide back there. Jeez. This going to be a lot of wall hits, it seems like. I want to see where the five was like super sideways and stuff and got into us. Because he like threw a slider on the 14. Not quite there yet. But he like threw slider on the 14. 14 had a terrible exit there. They were really tight on the uh, exit of four. He throws a slider here super tight. Hits the wall. Pretty sure he's going to do it lap after lap for a couple times there. It was just crazy on how close those sliders were. Here's another one. I think he nailed the wall this time hard. Oh, yeah. He got the wall. Slowed up an absolute ton. We'll just stay on him for a second because I know he's going to... This is like where he slows up and everything. And I think I get to his outside or something next lap maybe. He throws a slider on the 81 here. Got super sideways again. The 14 was in the wall a little bit. He nailed the wall in the back stretch. He had a bad three and four there. Where was it that we got to his outside? I know it had to be soon. Yeah, Connor was just ripping that outside, man. He was very fast. I'm happy we finished fifth, though. We were car number four, finished fifth, so we should gain some I rating, which is really nice. Jeez, six almost took him out. Oh, right here. What was going on here? Oh, yeah, because the 81 threw a slider. The 14 was coming across over, and the five was sliding up, and I don't think the 14 knew he was going to be there. So then the five came back up, hit us, because I thought I was going to be able to get around him from all that. I thought they were going to wreck. But they didn't. He came back up. We got a 2x from that little hit. But it is what it is. It was either that hit or something else. No, I think it was that hit on the front stretch. And then he threw a slider back on us, I think, in turn one. Like, he had a good run here on the uh, front stretch. Two guys in front of us still racing it out. But I knew he was going to throw a slider on me. I got hit from behind. I was going to try to cross him over. Like, I was checking up to... Oh, well, I didn't get it turned in for one. Like, I went in too tight, got the wall, and I was going to try to turn it back down. I got hit from the guy behind. My bad to the guy behind. But we got a zero X from that still, so... Just a bunch of car contacts and regular contacts to the wall. But that was just a crazy-ass race. Super slicked off track. That was definitely the most slicked off track I've ever raced on. And we finished fifth, so I'm happy about that. We qualified third, too, which is nice. Look how big of a lead he had. He was just all by himself. Lap 13. Absolutely nuts. Everyone's just hitting the wall, though. No cautions, shockingly. I think I got the wall pretty bad here on the front stretch. Yeah, I hit that one pretty solid there on the front stretch. And then into turn one. Luckily, I didn't spin out or anything hitting the wall, because I did that in practice once where my like, right rear got up on the wall in turn one, and I spun it around because my, my wheel came off the ground. Really weird thing, but... I guess it's a good thing my last practice, uh, like my practice before the race was super slicked off too. I, th I thought like they just ran a bunch of laps on it, but I think that it was just uh, pre-gen for the race and that's how the race is going to be, which is just absolutely crazy. And we just got first place hitting the wall, second place here hitting the Oh, this is third place hitting the wall. Five car behind, everyone's just hitting the wall. And then where was the six car on the last lap, I guess? I'll go find that where he just let off the gas, I guess. Somebody said something about that. Unless it was like a different six car. I don't know. He's on the back stretch right here. Those guys are running the bottom. That was behind me. So he is after the finish line. 
Oh, no, this is, uh, the last lap still. Oh, no, yeah, he just let off there. Wait. 30 laps. I think that, I think he, oh, he was a lap down? Oh, I think he got out early. I honestly, yeah, he was in eighth. Fell back to 10th because he stopped here on the last lap. Rip. He thought he was done. And he stopped and got out, but the, uh, the leader was still coming around finishing. He just finished right behind him. So... That's kind of weird, but hey, we finished fifth. I'm super happy about that. That was a tough, tough race. So only with a 2X there, I'm okay with that. We should gain some my rate and let's go see what we end up getting. All right, results in. Strength of field was quite good. 3,200, not too bad overall. I knew it would be decent because we were car number four. Car one, two finished ahead of us, three finished behind us. So we were uh, the second, excuse me, second highest car number where we were at the time. So that's not bad. We gained 15. I'm happy to gain some my rating. Lost a little bit of safety. That's because it's kind of decently high, I'd say. Almost a 4.0. So got a 2X from that. The five car was all over the place. Got a 6X. So yeah, he definitely lost some there. So that's unfortunate. But uh, overall, pretty decent race. The 12 car was super fast there on the outside, just ripping that edge. He's over 2,000 now. So good job on that. That was really good race by him. But uh, really, really fun race. Uh, I was wasn't I was shocked by the uh, track state, but I'm kind of happy about it because we did quite well. Cedar Lake's a tough track for me, so getting a really slicked off track like that, just having to run the top or like a slider line in three and four was quite interesting and made me uh, have to learn it a lot. So that was kind of nice. I need to get better on the slicked off tracks anyway, so I'll take that. Not too bad. I got a top five out of it, so it was just tough starting in third. If we would have started on the outside, might have been able to battle up there a little bit better, but then we just fell off later on anyway, so still probably would have finished fifth, but it's a good race. Fun race. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Appreciate you guys watching as always. If you guys run this this week, let me know if your track stays the same where it's like super slicked off because I'd love to know if that's just like a thing that's going on this week at that track. That's just really interesting. So appreciate you guys for watching as always and I'll catch you guys in the next one.